All right, when it comes to star musicians, one place welcomed them all in Detroit. <laughs> but you may not know about this spot the same way you know of others because it's been closed for years. Now it's getting new life and photojournalist Alex Atwell takes us inside this uniquely Detroit club. If these walls could talk, their stories, yeah. <laughs> This place has history. Stars, musicians. It was called the Bluebird. The Bluebird was known everywhere. And it was the home of jazz on the west side of Detroit. People were proud. I was at the Bluebird on said day. Oh yeah, very special. Very, very special. But this thing is ah, ha! There we go. <laughs> it was beautiful. The sound was beautiful. The neighborhood was beautiful. I've been trying to get in here, man, for like 16 years, man. We went up there. You went upstairs? Yeah. Well, we went up in this this crawl space here. Oh, okay. wow. Oh, man. Hmm. Tables, chairs, the stage was over there. If I recall, I thought it was right, the stage was right here. That's. That's where I recall, and I've actually been on that stage. Used to rock. This place used to rock. And I was able to do some, do a couple performances in here, and it was just magical. Pretty girls. <laughs> yeah, the neighborhood was known for gorgeous women. <laughs> right now, the place looks it's kind of like an archaeological dip. It does have good bones. So I think the bones are good. So if the bones are good, there's something that can be done here. So even though we can see daylight through the roof, <laughs> There's a lot of crumpled paint on the floor. There's hope for the structure. Today I was working with the great Deshaun Jones, wonderful young saxophone player. Deshaun and I worked together in the Marcus Belgrave group. We were playing Shiny Stockings by the great uh, saxophonist Frank Foster, who I actually had a chance to perform with, and Frank was fabulous, and so it was really great to bring Frank's music into this area and try to kind of christen it with some live music. Detroit Sound Conservancy is renovating this entire building, not only as a space to perform, but also a space that will also enliven this community. Oh man, it is just so important. It is so important. It's going to bring back uh, people. It's going to bring back finance. It's going to just bring back uh, vitality. We need it. The city oh, needs it. It does, and this neighborhood really needs it. Bring back the fun, the beauty, camaraderie, friendliness. Very special. Just, I'm glad that it's coming back. I'm excited about this bluebird thing. I could just see uh, the stars returning, the neighborhood revitalizing. Yeah. I'm, I'm loving it. <laughs> Woo! That's <was> fun, though. <laughs> Boulevard. Okay. Joining me this morning, Allison Turner and Marion Hayden. Good morning to you, Good lovely morning. ladies. Good, Good to see you. Thanks. And also, Deshaun jo Jones is here. Is he going to play the saxophone at the end of the segment? Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> ladies, uh, tell us more about the piece that we just saw. Well, we were lucky enough to be able to spend a little time in the, in the Bluebird Inn. Um, of course, this, this really needs quite a bit of renovation, but the spirit of the piece is still really, uh, really there. The spirit of the building, the great musicians that perform there, uh, and the legacy that it holds, uh, and certainly the, the legacy and history of that great West Side neighborhood were really very, very much in our presence when, when Deshaun and I were there performing, and that video was really a lot of fun. Well, when you look at that and when you think about the future, what do you see? Well, what we see is, um, I'm with the Detroit Sound Conservancy, and we see a home for our archives, mm -hmm. um, because we're basically a, um, we conserve the Detroit l musical legacies, and also a musical venue rooted in the community. Okay, yeah. and would that extend to like other clubs? Like, you know, think about the Grandy Ballroom, or Harpo's, or you know, any other places like that, or United, United Sound Systems for like a studio? Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it's all across yeah. the land. Right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, and I, the United Sound Systems doesn't get a lot of love, a lot of Motown love, but not a lot for them, so I always like to give them a shout out. Uh, what are your plans for the renovation? Um, 
basically um, we have a lot of artifacts that we need to have there so it's going to be a little museum like mm -hmm. and then the music venue yep and very club excited. Atmosphere. Yes, yeah, very yes. excited about the to music venue that. in particular because that way we can start, we can bring the building into what it was originally, which was a place to hear the great, greatest uh, live entertainers from Detroit and traveling. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And uh, you have an event. Uh, tell us about that. Yes, on Saturday, um, the 18th, we're going to have the Motor City Makeover. Okay. And so we're going to put on our helmets and our gloves and do some cleanup there at the Bluebird at 5021 Tireman. On Tireman. Yes. On the west side. Yes. Deshaun, uh, as a musician, what it, uh, you know, to be able to perform in front of or inside uh, such a legendary uh, location, that must be special. Um, it's very special. Um, to have an opportunity to play in a space like this. It's legendary, it's historic. When you think about players like uh, Miles Davis yeah. or Sonny Stitt, who's actually from here, um, to be able to grace a stage like that and hopefully bring it back to the same level of prominence that it had uh, once before. Um, it's a task, but I think that this city and its community of musicians are up to the challenge to uh, bring it back to what it once was. Yeah, yeah. And, and you know, if you think, uh, the uh, support for Baker's Keyboard Lounge keeps going. You know, we got to oh, have yeah. something else on the other side. Yes. You know, for for that side of town. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, where can people find more information about the Bluebird Inn and the ongoing efforts? Um, our website, the Detroit Sound Conservancy org. Okay. Yep. All right, Deshaun, would you like to play us out? Sure. What are you going to play for us? I'm going to play Body and Soul. Ladies, thanks for being here. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Thanks for thanks having us. Thank you very much. Thank you.